and welcome to a new exciting episode of Christa's Road to Eurovision. Today I'm in Belgium in Antwerp, the city where music, fashion and chocolate are just around the corner. As you know by now, every week I'm visiting a place where Eurovision magic has happened. And then you might ask, well, what magic is there in Antwerp? Well, I'll tell you. I am going to meet Kate Ryan here today, so let's go! My name is Krista. For many years I have been trying to find the answer to the question. What makes the Eurovision Song Contest such a special phenomenon? I thought I would crack the code when I participated myself in 2013, but I still want to know all about its magic. So this year my road to Eurovision continues. On the road to Turin, I want to discover the fascinating stories behind the Eurovision Song Contest. Welcome to Christa's Road to Eurovision! Kate, Ryan, Yay. finally I get to meet you. We have to celebrate this a yes, little because, you know... let's drink the bottle. Yeah, let's drink it up. No, but seriously, I think it's so nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure being here, really. It's such a beautiful place in Antwerp, nice yeah, hotel. Yeah, it wow, is. Amazing. Yeah, it really is. And I want to talk to you about Eurovision, of course. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> because, you know, I loved your song from 2006 so much. Not loved, I still love it. But how did you experience this whole Eurovision circus? Wow. It, this whole Eurovision circus, that's the right expression. Yeah. Um, I think um, if I look back at it, it was, for me, it was an amazing experience, you know? Yeah. Um, if I would have a second chance, I would do it all over again. A bit different, yeah. but I would do it, do it all over again. Um, of course, it was a, it was a bit of a sad story as well because I didn't make it through the semi-finals. Everybody was telling me, you're gonna win this, you're gonna be top three. Yeah. Uh, it gives you even more yeah, stress of course, and pressure. Of course. And that's why the disappointment was um, so big for me, you know. So yeah. it, w it was, I was devastated. I mean, it was... Oh, the hype around you so was real, wow. you know, everybody thought, okay, we have the winning song, we have the winning yes. artist, and then you didn't qualify, so, so tell me what happened, like how know. big of a disappointment was that for you? I don't know what happened, and the disappointment was so big, also uh, my, my entourage, people who were sitting next to me, you could feel the disappointment, <sighs> oh man, I was crying out loud, and all the press was attacking me, and you know, <sighs> You know how yeah, it goes. I, I know. mean, they are there di directly after yes. everything you do, She's and then crying. they're there. Can I have a reaction? It was it was crazy. The funny thing is that the Eurovision fans, I mean, they love you yeah, so I know. much. I know, and yeah. that's the thing. I mean, um, I think Eurovision gave me an enormous boost yeah. in my career. Oh, really? Yeah. Even I though think you so. had all yeah, these hits I and everything. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was able to travel all over the the world because yeah. of that. Mm. Everybody wanted to see me performing Je t'adore, but also yeah. Les Enchantés, yeah, uh, yeah. Voyage, Voyage. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they loved me being on stage and I loved performing, so yeah. it had, yeah, it had a, a good impact as well. Yeah. And now, what what is up right now with you? What is, what is happening in your life? Um, but during the pandemic, of course, I wrote a lot of songs yeah. and I was but I also started a web shop. I have a, a, a big passion for fashion. That's the first thing. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to share with my fans, with people who love fashion, who are into fashion. I think it's it's a good thing to that that can uh, work together with my musical career. You know. Yeah. Um, I do it when I'm home. Um, I can do it while I'm traveling, um, yeah. ordering, um, making the orders, or. I mean, it's it's a great uh, way to be creative for me in an in an other way, you know. Yeah. What I am happy to hear is that Kate said that she would love to do Eurovision again. So oh, I think that we should. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's really true. get it's into true. this. Yeah. So we, maybe if you would have the right song that you would really like, then you could consider doing it again. I think I have the right song already. <gasps> oh my God! Yeah. This gets even better. But they have to ask me, of course. 
uh, they're not gonna do that. But you never know. It's it's a verse that starts really melancholic, and then the verse, uh, the the chorus opens up. Yeah. Really amazing. Yeah. And I I, I had goosebumps, and I Ooh. thought, oh my god, this is really something for Eurovision. Yeah. I know, okay, Eurovision is there, we have the perfect song, but what else? Like, are you gonna, are we gonna see you more on stage now? Mm -hmm. What is gonna happen? Um, so I had the idea to make an album. Um, oh, that's very nice. With famous 90s songs, but I stripped love down. I the 90s. Stripped yeah. down. Yeah. Piano, just piano, just guitar. Yeah. Uh, really nice. Oh. Intimate, no, no beats, no, yeah. not really Kate Ryan, you know, yeah. but that's a side of me that I also wanted to show because I love yeah. doing that. Oh my God, it was so nice to finally meet Kate Ryan. But now we're going to move on from one Eurovision sister to another. Jens has made an interview with this year's contestant for Belgium, Jeremy McKees. Take a look. When Jeremy announced that his song for the Eurovision Song Contest will be called Miss You, the message was very clear to me. And yes, the feeling is very mutual. I've been missing a potential winning song from Belgium at the Eurovision Song Contest for so, so long. Time to pay a visit to this wonder boy and his new Eurovision classic. And the interview will be à la Belgique in three languages. Bonjour Jérémy. Bonjour, bonjour. Comment ça va Oh, ça va très bien. <rire> très, très, très bien. Je suis très content d'être ici avec toi, avec vous. Et euh, je suis très content pour, pour mon titre Miss You. Ouais. Yeah. Congratulations on the song. Thank you. Um, Thank you. C'est merveilleux. Voilà, merci. When you sing about Miss Me, who do you think of Je suis sportif. Je suis sportif. Et euh, toi, c'est wel moeilijk voor mij om voetbal te stoppen. When you are on, on the field playing soccer, do you sing as well? Yeah, I'm a goalkeeper. Yeah. So, you know, you in, in a match you have to 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 wait, eh? to to wait that the ball is close to you to to uh, to, eh? to be concentrated. Yeah. And if the the ball is fair, you have nothing to do. So, yeah, I was like <laughs> I'm sing I was singing, but I was also looking the coach. Als hij mij hoor, als hij mij hoor, and uh, I was like scared sometimes. Oh shit! I'm not gonna ask you to choose between soccer and singing, but I was thinking, wouldn't it be an idea? Can you juggle with the ball? Yeah, yeah, I can juggle. Because I happen to have a small ball with me. No. Yeah, I do. I do a little really? ball. Yes. Okay. So Come on! Maybe, maybe we can practice a little bit. Yeah, maybe. why not? Can you can you sing and juggle with the yeah. ball? Do you now? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Wait, I have to text the bell. Okay. To touch. I'm gonna miss you now. Woo! Yeah, I can, <laughs> yeah, I can do that. That was great. Yeah. You wanna I will try, try again? Yeah. again. I'm gonna miss... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you now. I'm gonna... Yeah, I think uh, if I... Well, respect, <laughs> respect, respect, man. Respect, yeah. I can, I can do yes. it. Yes, <laughs> great, great. Well, we, we've got the act Thank already. you for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, you can have it. Thanks. <laughs> what can we expect from the staging? I maybe take a ball with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, think of me when you sing the song, please. Jeremy, you've got golden hands. Golden? This, this, yeah, you've got golden hands, Thanks. but you got a good song, yeah. which you've got gold ah. in hands. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, okay. you, you know that, you know that, right? It's, yeah. a, it's a good yeah. song. Yeah. You know Thank that you. You, you have potential. Thank you. But um, it's important to practice your faces. So let's say I'm Laura Pozzini, and I say Belgium 12 points. Yeah. Yeah. You have to think of a signature move. Yeah, like. Deep in me, ben ik een verlegen jongen. Yeah. Maar the music helps me to. Allee, music helps me op op om open te zijn. Maar buiten muziek ben ik echt verlegen. En Niemand weet het, want ik, ik lach veel. Ik, uh, ik ben altijd vrolijk, altijd in een goede mood. 
Maar uh, oef, ik ben echt een verlegen jongen. If you don't reach top 10, it doesn't matter because a star will always wow. shine. Wow. It is. It is true. Ça, ça me touche beaucoup. <laughs> vraiment, vraiment, ça me touche beaucoup. Vraiment beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Well, thank you for this interview. Thank you. It was so funny. Yeah. It, yeah. I never did an interview like this before. Uh, <laughs> like, it me was too. Dutch, French, <laughs> English. Me too. <laughs> All I over the place. I think the best interview ever uh, I, I, I ever done. <laughs> thank you very much. Cool. Jeremy. Thank you too. As the official travel partner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2022 and their travel proud certified hotels, Booking is an inclusive experience provider for traveling. And every week we look into experiences from some fans and fellow travelers in Let's Get Booking! Hi, I'm Christian. I'm a real shopping queen. I love to visit the Eurovision Song Contest this year in Italy. And I'm a real vlogger and I tell you everything about the Song Contest. My best Eurovision experience was that I see the winner, La Wing, from Euphoria in, uh, by the Gay Pride backstage and I talked with her, it was so nice. Oh, that is the last year Switzerland the country was so good and so hot, Gion Steers. Of course, my meeting beat with Lawin, that's my best moment ever. And now, of course, all the people from around the world, they come to Italy and they, and they scream and all the colors of, yeah, of Pocahontas and the Eurovision contest, the vibe, the screaming people and all the friendly people, they came back from the corona epidemic and have a party in Italy. Oh, it's so romantic, Italy. I love it. The food, the pasta, of course, and um, all the friendly people. They're so fash fancy, fashion, they, um, the romantic vibe, the old buildings. And of course, visit Pisa and Venice. La oui, with Euphoria. Sometimes I drive in my mother's uh, cabriolet and then euphoria and the hair so and then with the girls, I love it to do it, yes. I take French, I like them, but I think Ukraine about the war in Russia and I think the European people give them so much love that they win. I'm now on my way to meet Anne-Marie David, who represented Luxembourg in Eurovision Song Contest back in 1973. And she actually won the whole thing. And that made me think about why is Luxembourg not participating in Eurovision anymore? Because they have a really great history. They have won Eurovision five times. So what's the reason that they're not there anymore? And I think I know a person who has the answer to this question. Hello, Sonia, this is Krista calling. How are you? Hey, what a cute surprise! Always so nice to hear you! Yeah, I'm really happy that you have time for me because I have a question and I have been thinking about this for a long time. I want to know, why is Luxembourg not competing in Eurovision Song Contest anymore? Why? Oh, Krista, why? It's a very sad question. We all would like uh, Luxembourg to go back uh, to the Eurovision Song Contest again. But uh, uh, RTL, uh, they became a privatized company in the 90s and uh, hence they declined to participate in the song contest and that was in 93. Oh, that's so sad. But... Very sad. Uh, yeah, because we are so enthusiastic about the song contest and we had a huge uh, group of fans and we really tried, uh, but uh, we are always uh, facing a no and uh, what can we do? No, but it's, no, it's no. great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to hear that you still love it and maybe in the future you can come back to the competition. We never know. The whole, whole side of life, that's what we say. Yeah, we exactly. Never know. But no. we keep on, we keep on, uh, keep, we keeping on your original life here by organizing the, the show and uh, some uh, pursuits sometimes. And, uh, well, we really would love, but that's it. That's great to hear. Thank you so much, Sonia. And I really hope to see Luxembourg back Very in Eurovision welcome. again. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you, Sonia. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, Krista. Dans les rêves de l'enfance, dans les lèvres que le maître a 
sera puni dans la gare où commence la première aventure de la vie. Dans celui qui doute. Hello, Hello Christine. <laughs> so nice. Yes, yes. yes. Come on. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Anne-Marie, thank you so much for inviting me here in your beautiful home. It's super cozy here. Well, you know, I, I thought it was much better to have you in this place because it's a very, very old house. Yeah. And I bought it two or three years ago. Okay. And then this space yeah. is my mother's space. Oh, really? So all the stuffs belong to my family, okay. in fact. So I thought it was good to welcome you here to yeah. celebrate Eurovision, to yes. talk about Eurovision, because it's a part of my life, is here too. You represented Luxembourg back in 1973 when you actually won Eurovision <laughs> Song Contest. Tell me, how did that change your life? Did it change your life? Oh, <laughs> yes, you're joking. Yeah, <laughs> of course it did. I don't know, I did not win Eurovision, so I don't know what, what no, happened. I mean, yeah. No, I mean, it was a bit different from today, yeah. because at that time, uh, Eurovision lasts long after yeah. your victory, you know? Okay. So, uh, ladies and men like of our yeah. um, period, yeah. we had to, the, we were lucky to yeah. win because it lasts almost three years without having one day off. Oh, so you had like, if you won, then you had a schedule of everything oh, you had exactly, to do. Exactly, okay. exactly. And it yeah. was scheduled from the first minute I won. Do you follow Eurovision now also every year? Do you still love it? Well, I've, I've spent almost 15 years without looking anything because I was, I quit with everything and I was in, in a farm with my animals oh. and, and I was a breeder. So uh, I had no interest anymore in all the stuff, you know, when you, when you quit with a profession, yeah. why to just say, oh, I'm so sad. No, it's no. finished, it's finished, yeah. it's over, okay. game over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you say, okay, I do something else that I love. Yeah. And then, because of Eurovision fans, I came back. Yeah, because, uh, what, yeah, what, <laughs> I was going to ask that, but what made you come back then? But was it because of One the fans? One fan. One fan. Really? He, yeah. He wrote me for, let's say, six, seven years. Really? Letters. Everywhere I changed, everywhere I moved, he found me. Really? And all the time I say, if I answer, I'm lost. So one day I say, well, he's, he's so nice. He's, he sent me so many nice letters and so saying, and we're, please come back. I, I answered him. Yeah. Then he found me. Yeah. Then he talked to the television in France. And yeah. uh, there was a, a program. Um, Pascal Sevran is dead now. Yeah. And Pascal Sevran asked me for years to come back to his show. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 no. It's over, finished. I don't sing. I don't want anything. I have no record company, nothing. Yeah. Please say, it's, it's over. It's yeah. okay. And um, he told, it talked to him. And then he called me. Yeah. And then I couldn't refuse. I said, okay, Pascal, okay, 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 I'll come back. <laughs> And then I started to make one, two, four, three, four, five, and several shows. All my songs were recorded in this show yeah. and broadcast. And of course, people again wrote me and asked me, Anne-Marie, please don't go away ever. So you've been super successful. I mean, you won once, then you became third. Uh, what was the difference then from uh, representing Luxembourg and representing France? Is there, was there a difference? <laughs> oh, Which oh, one, yes. did, what, what did you like better? <laughs> the, no, I mean, I must be mm. honest. Uh, I, I really love my second song okay. more than Tito Reconnaitra. Tito Reconnaitra really? is a kind of, uh, it's a kind of hymn. It's a kind of something that I carry for long. Yeah. But uh, Je suis l'enfant soleil is a very, very beautiful story. Okay. So more for an interpreter. Okay. You know, you, you yeah. don't sing m m much. You just inter you, okay. get, you just say the words. Je regarde le sourire qu'il m'avait donné Quand des hommes sont venus Je n'ai pas compris Au devant de moi Il a couru vers le chêne gris I think also to win for Luxembourg was not very much appreciated, you know, because I was French. Yeah, yeah, okay. But so. I was selected by 
the people from RTL at, the, at this oh, time, you know. that's what, how, it, how it went, okay, yeah. I was performing in Jesus Christ Superstar, and in the audience there was the two persons in charge of RTL, I mean, the, the publisher and in Luxembourg. And, yeah, the yeah. French ones, because, you know, yeah. Luxembourg was, Radio Luxembourg was in Luxembourg, but the main company was in Paris. Okay. RTL was oh, in Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had the charge to select the, the performer for the year after. Mm. And they knocked at my door and they say, well, we, what we've seen tonight was wonderful. Would you like to represent us and next what was year? your answer? Did you <laughs> think about it or were you, <laughs> no, yes? No, 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 no. My answer was not that at all. Really? I was just uh, looking at them and say, but you have won last year with yeah. Vicky Leandros oh, two weeks yeah. ago. Okay. So do you want to win again? <laughs> yeah. And they said, oh, well, we can win 10 years. It yeah. doesn't matter. We can win 10 years and say, okay, because if you don't want to win, I don't want to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I was 20. <laughs> Let's hope that they come back yeah. to Eurovision. <laughs> so can we look a little, uh, I want to see more of your beautiful house. Do this you want to show the, me some more? Oh, yes, yeah. if you want to. Yes. That, uh, we're going to go downstairs, okay. because downstairs, when I bought this house, I bought it because, of course, this beautiful be beautiful area. But first of all, yeah. because downstairs was a huge room that I call my music room. Oh, we're so. going to go to Anna-Marie's music room. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Yeah, let's go. OK, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Ooh, so. This is your music room. Yeah. It's beautiful and all, have a seat. Thank you. And wow, all these uh, pictures here on the walls and the pianos. Well, it's my pla my favorite place. So tell me, you still perform, right? Do you do a lot of concerts? You oui. seem to do different kind of things. Please tell me what 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 is. Well, going you know, on? Uh, when I'm, I'm used to the light. Yeah. And so light, I'm I'm not missing light. You know. Because you're there, mm. look, look you, yeah. you are here. Yeah. So it means that I have a sense. Yes. Today, still. Yes. But I'm always ashamed when I know people who need light, but nobody cares. Yeah. So now I have decided for about ten years to carry some projects by my own. Yeah. Just to show the result of. A film composer I'm working with, or the lady I'm, I'm working with, she has written a lot of beautiful songs, and she has written plays. Yeah. And now I want to work with her too, just yeah. to carry everything out. And next year, we will celebrate uh, in May, I guess, mm. the 50th anniversary of my victory for Luxembourg. Yeah, that's true. It becomes 50 years we, next, next year. spring. Oh, yeah, we have to celebrate. You have to be back. <laughs> yeah. We what had to make a huge party here. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Anna-Marie, so much that you invited me here in your home. It was so nice to see you and see your home. And uh, thank you so much. I, I've been very pleased, really very pleased to welcome all of you here. I really hope you enjoyed to be in this place. Oh, I love and, it. And uh, well, next year, I hope we will have time to go a little bit around. Yes. and see what fantastic place it is. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, Anne-Marie! Bye-bye! See you next year! Next year we <laughs> come here! Bye-bye, Krista! My dear Eurovision lovers, I am leaving the French countryside on my way to Switzerland. Join me next week on another episode of Krista's Road to Eurovision.